This weekend, London's Jewish community turned up to the third annual Gefilte Fest, a festival describing itself as all things Jewish and foodie. Despite its relative new arrival on the London scene, it has proved an instant success and is now an integral part of the city's Jewish cultural calendar. I think it embraces so many things that make Jewish life in London exciting. The music, the ethnicity, the diversity, the, the, the different types of people it attracts. And more importantly, that everyone can come here and feel at home and at peace and comfortable in the environment and they like to get together over things that are warm and fuzzy and what could be warm and fuzzier than Jewish people getting together to celebrate the heart of the family and those occasions on which we all share food. Uh, Jews love food. Judaism is really keen about enjoying every aspect of the physical world, putting a religious spin on it. Every festival, every Sabbath, every day has a way of eating and a way of enjoying the world. And this festival gives people an opportunity to explore all kinds of new ways of putting the two together, Judaism and food. The festival came about almost by accident. Three years ago, Michael Leventhal's partner won a prize, a cookery course she said she didn't need. Michael thought he'd benefit and decided to make a day of it, inviting friends and acquaintances to come and give talks on all manner of things relating to food and Judaism. It quickly took off. It mushroomed, it mushroomed. Um, it was like pushing it an open door. The number of people who were enthusiastic about both speaking and helping um, was gobsmacking. The name Gefilterfest is a play on gefilte fish, an Ashkenazi meal consisting of ground fish popular on Shabbat and holidays such as Passover. But it's not just fish here today. This challah, bagels, falafel, shawarma, strudel and cheesecake, not to mention kosher meat. What's exciting about Jewish cuisine is because there's Jewish people from all around the world. For me, it is the ultimate infusion cooking because it's not an essentially Chinese cooking, Italian cooking. It's Jews because they're from all over the place. They bring with them what is kosher, and what they do is cook with what is indigenous into the area of where they are. Food and Judaism are the interests of the festival. There are a variety of different speakers here talking about a range of Jewish interest themes throughout the day. And all the while, chefs are here showing off their flavors from a range of different backgrounds, including one chef born in Baghdad who has been educating London on recipes from Babylonian Jewish communities. It's a secret cuisine of a vanished world. Vanished world because there are only, uh, the date of today, I think six very elderly people who live in Baghdad. When you compare to about 50, 60 years ago, we made up about 30% of the population of Baghdad, 30%. Sylvia Nakamuli, nicknamed Niblitz Nakamuli, is an Italian Jewish cooking expert. Whilst she's now based in London, Sylvia grew up in Rome and took her inspiration from home. In Italy, you, it's very much this kind of similar culture. So to be Italian and Jewish, food is like paramount. <laughs> As a friend of mine says, it's a double whammy. Amidst all the food, there was an important send-off. Next month, 20 rabbis will embark on a bike ride from the bottom of the UK to the top to raise money for charity. One rabbi was said to be disappointed this week when he was told his request for a downhill-only section could not be met. Whilst a huge part of Gefilterfest is about raising money for charity, it's also about educating people in Jewish culinary traditions and heritage. This, says the organizers, will help to build Jewish identity. And if it tastes good whilst doing it, all the better. This is Stephen Reschuk, JN1, London.